Thank you all. Let me, let me, let me begin by thanking all of you for being here today and for the incredible support you have provided our campaign and the political revolution over the last year. You have heard me say a million times that this campaign is not just about electing a president as important as that is. It is building a movement to transform this country. Election days come and go, but the fight for social, economic, racial, and environmental justice continues. The support we have received from every state in this country has been extraordinary and the grassroots activism is unprecedented in modern American history. Make no mistake about it, we have made history. As all of you will recall, when we began this campaign over a year ago, we were considered to be fringe players by the establishment and the corporate media. Well, a year has come and gone. We're not fringe players anymore. Have shown, we have shown the entire world that our ideas are not some crazy, wild, utopian fantasies. They are ideas supported by working people from one end of this country to the other. We showed that the American people want a bold, progressive agenda that takes on the billionaire class, that fights for racial, social, economic, and environmental justice, and that, and that will create a government that represents all Americans and not just a handful of wealthy campaign contributors. We won 13 million votes across this country, and more importantly, in virtually every state that we competed, we won by a considerable margin the young people of this country. We won. We won the votes from young people who are white, who are black, who are Latino, who are Asian American, who are Native American. Young, young people, by definition, are the future of America. We have set the agenda for the future of America. We won 23 Democratic primary and caucus contests. We 
won over 1,800 pledged delegates. Welcome to Philadelphia. And by the way, and by the way, while it is true, we did not get many superdelegates. We won 46% of the pledged delegates. Our campaign put together hundreds of thousands of volunteers across the country, people who were out knocking on doors, making phone calls, making the contacts that a progressive movement has to make. And we showed, we showed in a way that will change politics in our country forever, that you can run a competitive national campaign without begging billionaires for campaign contributions. All of us are proud that we are the only campaign not to have a super PAC. In an unprecedented way, we received 8 million individual campaign contributions averaging $27. $27. $27. We focused on issues the establishment <clears throat> has pushed under the rug for too long. Our people participated in writing the platform in meetings held in St. Louis a few weeks ago and in Orlando last week, and I want to thank them for their great work. Despite the fact that our people were a minority on the platform writing committee, we came out of that committee with by far the most progressive platform ever written in the history of the Democratic Party. Just the other day, the Democratic Rules Committee met, and once again, we won a major victory in transforming the Democratic Party. In the next presidential election, instead of having 715 superdelegates, there will be 250. a 60% decline. There will also be commissions working to end closed primaries and bring about other needed reforms. As I think all of you know, Debbie Wasserman Schultz resigned yesterday as chair of the DNC. Her resignation opens up the possibility of new leadership at the top of the Democratic Party that will stand with working people and that will open the doors of the party to those people who want real change. 
In addition, as a result of our political successes in a number of states, there are now at least five chairs of state Democratic parties who were elected as part of the political revolution. This is some, just some, of what we have accomplished. The question now is where do we go from here? How do we build on our successes? How do we continue the political revolution? Number one, in my view, and this is not easy stuff given the nature of corporate media in America. But number one, we have got to be strong and consistent in making it clear that what we want to achieve is nothing less than the transformation of American society. That means, that means ending the 40-year decline of the American middle class and creating an economy that works for all of us, not just the 1%. That means ending the immoral and grotesque level of income and wealth inequality in this country today. It is wrong, it is not sustainable when the top one-tenth of one percent owns as much wealth as the bottom 90 percent. We will change that. In the midst of massive income and wealth inequality, yes, the wealthy and large corporations will start paying their fair share of taxes. When millions of our brothers and sisters here in Philadelphia and Vermont and all over this country are working for starvation wages, yes, we will raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour. Whether it is Flint, Michigan, or hundreds of other communities around this country, we will rebuild our crumbling infrastructure and create millions of decent paying jobs. Yes, we will end our disastrous trade policies, including the TPP. <clears throat> and starting today, we are going to do everything we can to make sure that TPP does not come to the floor of Congress during the lame duck session. We will proudly continue the fight for a single payer Medicare for all health care system. Health care is a right for all people. We understand what Donald Trump does not understand. Climate change is real, and it is already doing devastating harm to this planet. Yes, we are going to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energy.
Yes, we are going to reform a broken criminal justice system. We want our young people at decent jobs or in school, not rotting in jail cells. And yes, we are going to achieve comprehensive immigration reform and a path towards citizenship. Those are some, some of the ideas that we must continue to fight for every single day. Secondly, immediately, right now, we have got to defeat Donald Trump. And we have got to elect Hillary Clinton and Tim Kaine. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, this is, this is the real world that we live in. Trump is a bully and a demagogue. Trump Trump has made bigotry and hatred the cornerstone of his campaign. Throughout this campaign, he has insulted Mexicans and Latinos. He has insulted Muslims. He has insulted women and African Americans. Does not respect, Trump does not respect the Constitution of the United States or civil liberties. That is not just my opinion, that is what many conservative Republicans believe. Trump is a danger for the future of our country and must be defeated. And I intend to do everything I can to see that he is defeated. Further, it seems to me that if we are going to turn this country around and defeat right-wing extremism, we need to build a movement that is prepared to fight at every level of government, from the school board to the city councils to county commissioners to the United States Senate. My hope is, my hope is that our revolution will be supporting at least 100 candidates 
all across this country. And by the way, as all of you know, real politics is not necessarily sexy. Knocking on doors, talking to people, handing out leaflets, sending out emails. But that is what we need to do. This campaign, this campaign for me personally has obviously been an extraordinary and unbelievable experience. And what has made it so extraordinary, so extraordinary is the coming from a small state, I have had the opportunity to visit 46 states throughout this country and many of you personally. And what I want to say, and I want everybody to appreciate this, there are extraordinarily wonderful and beautiful people all over this country. I have met people in every state, young people, working people, old people, people from every race and every religion, who have hope in their eyes and are prepared to come together to transform our country. This campaign has been a fantastic beginning, a beginning, and from today onward, we continue the fight. Thank you all.